Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today we're going to talk about Honor of Ankana, uh, Folk of the Feywild, their, their newest uh, uh, PDF that you can look at and, and check out some, some new species that you can become. This is Manny, I'm here with Vander. There are four species that you can be, um, that you can play test in this, in this PDF, with this uh, edition. Um, you could be Hobgoblin, Fairy, Owl Folk, and, and Rabbit Folk. So first up is fairy. Uh, do you have any strong opinions about the fairy one way or the other? Uh, I think it's a great species. You know, you're small, uh, you can fly, uh, but I really like the fate passage part of it. I like the fact that you can yeah. squeeze into small that's, spaces. That's my favorite part too. Like I love the flying and capability, but yeah, 100% agree. Fate passage was like the best part that they added there because it's so unique. It, it's so, so different. <laughs> yeah. Anything about this that you like the most? Uh, really the like fate passage like you said like i do like that you're like a small fate creature and that like you have a decent flying speed and that you can hover hovering like by itself like you don't have to be in motion you can sit in a spot which like most people don't think about is a really unique and good straight to make sure you have when you fly but um yeah fate passage the the idea i i thought of myself was the idea if you're a barbarian fairy is that like no one's escaping from you you can fly you can fit into one inch spaces you can get them no matter where you're going and i just love the idea of this angry little fairy flying around with a giant maul or i guess it's too big giant hammer just trying to knock down people <laughs> visually i can see that being really cool uh, uh fairy magic is interesting that you're allowed to have druid craft as a cantrip which that makes sense that's a that's a fun cantrip it makes 100%. sense it will would it makes it that will match that with fairies um and fairy fair, fire fairy fire because they were like hey it's in the name <laughs> yeah. yeah and it gives you little rules about how to apply that exactly if you have like um if you have if you have spell slots and things like that next we have the hobgoblin of the fey wild which of the four we have feels like the most they gave you the most to work with in like any situation um they have a lot of like the again normal traits like a hobgoblin like they have dark vision um and then they have weird fey stuff like uh the fey ancestry where you have advantage on charm effects and spells uh, but like the really cool ones like uh the last two the fey gift and fortune of the many are, are, are great i loved uh fortune of the many mm. If I'm talking about my favorite first, which I'm gonna, um, <laughs> is that if you miss a roll, depending on how many uh, people, uh, allies you have around within 30 feet of you, you can add that number of people to the roll. So, you know, you roll a 16, uh, the AC is 18, and you got three allies around, um, you can draw on just like their energy to make you attack better. Um, you can use it as many times as your proficiency bonus, and whenever you finish a long rest, you get them all back. But like, just the idea itself is super fun to be like, I am powered by my allies, and like, with Goblinkin society where it's goblin, hobgoblin, bugbear, that really makes sense for them, to me personally. Yeah, I think that that's great. Uh, makes me think that hobgoblins work best with like large groups of players mm -hmm. um, having that. Uh, Fake gift is another example of why you want to have a lot of uh, be, be in a big group with. So yeah. you and you could help you and uh, you could help uh, your companion and both together you get you get certain gifts depending on the situation. Uh, spite you your 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 companion to strike a creature that creature gets a disadvantage on their next attack. Uh, hospitality uh, you and your companion get more hit points. Um, uh, temporary hit points uh, equal to your 1d6 plus your proficiency bonus and um, and then passage which is pretty interesting you both you walk faster <laughs> uh, together um, good like doesn't hurt doesn't hurt oh yeah not at all, not at all. <laughs> it's just interesting I, 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 I'm very curious to see how players will use that to their advantage in certain situations I um, think it's to like because sometimes some characters just don't have bonus actions you know like they, like just some builds just don't have it and with this, like giving the help action as a bonus action instead of having it as like the main action, you can do little things, and it's letting you do these little things, which like a little extra hit point or like the running, maybe like you and your teammate are running away, and like that ten extra feet, like actually can could make a difference. Like it's great. Um, I already with this, I, I keep thinking of builds, but that's just the way my brain works. Is that if you're like a paladin, 
uh, this type of hobgoblin, you know, if you have fine steed and you have a pet, you have a plus one for your fortune of the many, and then you also have a creature to use your fey gift on all the time. And it's not including the rest of your teammates, which I'd like to think of ways to abuse the system because I know my players will find a way to do it. So if I think mm. of it first, <laughs> I can be ready. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Owl Folk? I was going to say, was Owl Folk your... No, Rabbit Folk was your favorite. Yes. So Owl Folk, I loved a lot, and I built a bunch of characters off of this real quick once it came out because I really loved it. Um, it's literally Aarakocra but an owl and i and like it sounds stupid when you say it out loud like that but i, I love it you can be small or medium sized you're still technically humanoid you can fly um but along with the flight capabilities you also are like insanely good like sniper slash knight uh, stalker you have great dark vision you have 90 feet which like the only person who beats you is drow um, you have magic sight, so basically you have detect magic, which you can use all the time, and uh, silent feathers, which is like, hey, you automatically start with proficiency in stealth. Like, no matter what class you are, you're stealthy. I, I just is great. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that you that stood out for you for these guys? Well, when I first heard this was coming out, um, I already saw memes on the internet that talked about how you can now make Duolingo as a character. Um, uh, I don't know if you're even aware of what the app is. is yeah. uh, so if you, <laughs> um, which I mean, I was like, yeah. I mean, I, I tend to think of Owl Folk as like these like wise creatures, um, and they're not unique in D and D. I mean, Owl Folk is you can see that even in like um, a lot of the uh, um, uh, third party five e books, um, uh, Humblewood, things like that. Yeah. Um, this so felt it's, very Humblewood esque. This entire thing. Yeah, so I'm I'm glad they bring it in. I, I, I'm surprised they pick owls as the first of the, well, besides Avercrook of the of the bird folk to make as a character. I'm very and I like that they made it distinct. They didn't do just like uh, generic bird uh, kin or folk and then make us just generic stats for it. It looks like they're gonna make each uh, type of bird maybe their own um, species, which I think that I think that'd be a lot of fun. That what, makes that makes sense. What kind of bird would you have liked to see? Ooh, a raven. Although. Uh, Kank goes Kank, Kank kind of are. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but ravens, um, oh, let's see. I, well, I, I tend to like dark creatures, so like ravens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I would love to see a hummingbird. I want like a high energy, small bird folk that is just like hyped all the time. <laughs> no, that, that actually, is, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> Okay. So this is the coast. Pay attention to us. We're giving you ideas. We're just tossing them at you. <laughs> so as you mentioned before, my favorite one is Rabbit Folk. And um, if you're wondering why, you can either guess from my background, or if you don't know what I, what the, my background is, um, if, you, if you haven't read Usagi Ojimbo, these, uh, these comic book, this comic book series, you're missing out on a lot. It's a great, great series. I, I was sort of miffed for a while that there's a turtle race in D D, so you can make TMNT characters pretty much uh with you know with the combined with the monk uh but there was no nothing for like rabbits so for if i want so now i have now i can make my own usagi your jimbo character for D D. so i'm really excited about that um but yeah but that's if, if if that's not your thing it's still a great uh species to to be uh, you have uh, great things like rabbit hop you could just do a little running and then you could just jump roll d12 and that's extra feet that you can do um lucky footwork is 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 fun you know if you fail at dexterity saving throw don't worry uh as a reaction roll a d4 and add it to your result and let's hope that's a success <laughs> um uh, what what did you like uh yeah i mean i like lucky footwork a little bit i think I feel like it could have been a little better. I think if you're a monk or a rogue, lucky footwork is super great because like you're already really good at deck saves and that little bit might save you. But um, I liked hair trigger um, and I enjoy that they were, they uh, called it hair, like the rabbit trigger. <laughs> um, but um, you add your proficiency bonus to your initiative rolls. I love that because there's only like four th things that increase your initiative beyond your dexterity. There's the alert feat. There's um, I think there is a rogue class, the uh, swashbuckler can add the charisma, and then there's something in wizard that lets you increase it with your 
intelligence and like those are the only things so like being able to add your proficiency like that's solid that's so good um the the other fun ones too is like you have advantage of perception checks which with, with uh, uh leperine skills uh leperine leperine skills uh with rabbit skills rabbit senses um and that makes sense it's kind of like the owl having uh dark vision or and stealth you know when you think hair you're thinking leaping and really good ears and with owls you're thinking you know good eyesight and stealthiness at night and it's great yeah these these four are fantastic um i'm i'm very curious when and where they're going to use them for i wonder if it's going to come out for that new book coming out in may the um uh, that uh, Ravenloft book that has so many different domains included yeah, they, as well. They did say they were going to have some new uh, races, so this might be part of the things that they're testing out, along with like the gothic ones, to be like, let's go a little light, a little dark, a little Shadowfell, a little Feywild, and just see see what grabs people and what they need to change. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad uh, Dungeons and Dragons is, is doing this. Uh, for a while, I was kind of wondering about them because, like, if you look at Pathfinder, for example, like, they're their latest book has so many uh, options for species. That the question is, is what can't you be? You know, like in their new book, you could be you could be a cactus. <laughs> you could be a cactus uh, being in uh, right. in the new Pathfinder <laughs> book. You know, you could be uh, some sort of android. There's so many more options. So I'm glad DD is sort of, you know, seeing looking at their their fan base and thinking like, okay, that we need more options available, especially with other products like Humblewood making. A killing in the market because they they had so many much so many, many interesting uh species that you could be well that's the thing you know it's like places like humble would bring the uh more uh rambunctious joyous like kid side to like the fantasy element out and then we have things that are more gothic and have those darker characters uh that are also brought out and like realistically wizard of the coast should just be like hey we like what you've already made can we just like pay you to like make it an official piece of the thing that way you're making fans get spe feel special and feel good and you're supporting fans instead of being like no nah, we'll just like rehash some of this <laughs> no I, I agree i mean look what they've done with critical role like they've been now producing source books with them and uh that's been uh the, the reaction that's been pretty good so to me yeah you're right that makes sense why i don't know why they're not doing that but <sighs> Who knows? We, yeah, yeah, we... If only I was in charge, but... right? God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. So, uh, viewers, what did you think of these uh, uh, species? I will put them the link to it in the description below. Give us, give us your class combos. I want to see what kind of crazy things you're making. Are you making like a, a monk owl folk, or are you making artificer rabbit folk? I, I want to know. I want to know the crazy things that you decide to make and why. Explain why. Tell me why. What what stupid breaking game breaking stuff are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> thank you everyone and um have a great day.